There's something exhilarating about leaving the ground. The sensation of lifting off and climbing into the sky. Taking off is surprisingly simple because the airplane is designed to fly. It wants to get off the ground. To begin the takeoff procedure at a non-towered airport, announce over the common traffic advisory frequency that you're taxiing on to the active runway. Check for other airplanes that may be on final approach and align the nose of your airplane on the center line. Now, add power smoothly and continuously. The throttle should be fully forward within five seconds. As the airplane begins to roll, pick a spot or an object beyond the end of the runway in line with the center line. This reference point is essentially an extension of the center line and helps you keep the airplane on a straight course after takeoff. The rudder pedals are used to maintain directional control. Certain factors make the airplane want to turn to the left. This is overcome by the use of right rudder. Wing position is maintained with aileron control. The rudder pedals, through nose wheel steering, maintain directional control at slow speeds. The rudder becomes more effective as airflow over it increases. By liftoff speed, the airflow over the rudder is great enough to provide directional control. As the airplane accelerates to takeoff speed, ease back on the control wheel just enough to let the airplane fly itself off the runway. Takeoff attitude is now established. This initial attitude is slightly nose high and is similar to the normal climb attitude. This attitude is important because it's midway between holding the nose on the ground and choosing an attitude which is too nose high. After liftoff, let the airplane accelerate to your target climb speed. Use either your best rate of climb speed, VY, for a normal climb situation or your best angle of climb speed, VX, if you need to clear an obstacle. When this climb speed is reached, trim away the control pressure using the elevator trim. The airplane should maintain this attitude and airspeed on its own after some minor fine tuning. After departure, it's important to crab as needed to maintain runway alignment. The idea is to stay on the extended runway center line until ready to make your initial turn from the pattern. Don't forget to keep an eye out for other air traffic. The see and avoid principle is still the most reliable method of spotting other air traffic.